So, uh, we have the four uh, main demos, notebook one to, to, to four. The notebook zero is just a reference uh, from Sealed and explain how we build all these uh, uh, blocks here uh, and there, the acquisition data, image data, and data containers. And we will start with uh, Evelina that will uh, introduce uh, a little bit of tomography, run uh, FPB reconstruction, and CGLS. Then we will go to Ticon of regularization and introduce the block framework. Then we will run uh, real data from the diamond light source, and then go to the uh, PDHT and run a total variation reconstruction. In the afternoon session, we will do uh, again uh, total variation reconstruction for multispectral uh, data by line work. So, Evelina, you want to start? Any questions? Okay. Can you stop sharing? Yeah. Do you want this? Not normative. Uh, good morning, everyone. Can you hear me fine? Yeah, so. For this fifth notebook for the CT session, we're going to be looking at multi-channel reconstruction or spectral CT reconstruction, which is the field that I studied for my PhD. So if you remember from the talk that uh, Vigelis gave on uh, Monday um, and some other talks on spectral CT, one of the main differences with this multi-channel reconstruction is just that we're using this spectroscopic uh, imaging detector where we can also acquire the energy values of all the photons that are arriving. And so we essentially get an extra energy-based dimension to our data sets. And as a result, we have to vary the way in which we reconstruct and handle this data. So if you remember this slide, this is a lizard head data slide, and this is the data set you'll be working through if you uh, use, if you try out our notebook. So on the right-hand side, we'll be looking at different uh, reconstruction algorithms, so CGLS um, and PDHG as well as the standard uh, FBP reconstruction. So it'll be very much about looking at how we can vary and play about with these reconstructions and get different results. Uh, if I show you... Uh, so, so yeah, uh, the main learning objectives for this uh, multi-channel notebook will be looking at the key differences in building this image and acquisition geometry that we use for all of the uh, software and how that varies when we step up a dimension and use this multi-channel energy data set. Um, you'll be building your own reconstructions using uh, FDK, which is a form of FBP, uh, CGLS and PDHG, and looking at how you can play around with these uh, with the regularization uh, parameters available and optimize these as best you can. And then also looking at uh, the uh, the effectiveness of all the reconstruction routines using, by extracting the energy information we have and extracting the energy profiles and elemental maps to, to, ver uh, to evaluate the quality of your reconstructions for each case. So it starts with uh, the 4D data set and, uh, and kind of gives you a guide of how to run through and set up these geometries. And so you can discuss with us and make sure that you fully understand how that's all set up. And then it becomes a little bit more open-ended where eventually we bring in exercises that allow you to uh, set up these reconstructions yourself. And because it relies on everything you've learned so far today, we'll see sort of how much you actually remember and uh, sort of test your ability to actually run each of these reconstructions. So it is very open-ended and please, by all means, discuss with each other and uh, play around and see how good you can get these reconstructions to look. And then, as Richard said at the end, we'll sort of summarize and bring it all together and see how things have turned out for you all. Okay? 